Hi, this is Mike Mozart back again for the Toy Channel. Um, I'm going to be giving you lots of cool information on how to create, invent, how to produce your own toys or any kind of consumer product. I've done it for 25 years and I can be a big help and I'm telling you all my secrets. Um, I've got a really big secret today and it's in response to a lot of emails I've gotten. Um, a lot of people are, are asking me for a recommendation for an attorney. Do I know a really good intellectual property attorney? Do I know a really good patent attorney? Do I know someone that's in that field that's really reputable and you know amazing? I'll tell you how to find the best patent attorney there is. You can do it yourself. You'll be so glad if you follow this advice. Please, please, please follow this advice because a lot of people have gotten some very bad advice over the years about this. <clears throat> um, let's say you've invented a new type of board game or toy. Okay, the best way to find a patent attorney, go to USPTO.gov. Find other people in your own town or your own area that have patented toys. You'll be surprised. Go to that website, put in a keyword search. If you live in Madison, Wisconsin, put in Madison, Wisconsin as a search of Inventor City. You can choose that. There's a pull-down menu where you can choose all these different choices. Find Inventor City or Company City. Pull down Madison, Wisconsin. And you'll find out there's probably 1,700 patents filed there in the last couple of years. Really? Anywhere you live in America is just like that. Scroll, just look down that list and see if you see something that's a toy or a game or a product. And there's the inventor's name. And they have the inventor's home addresses there. I mean, take you two seconds to get their phone numbers and call them. Ask them how they like their attorney. Was it a great attorney? Do they seem to know what he's doing? How much did he charge? People are very open to tell you this information. And there's nothing like a personal recommendation. And don't take the first one somebody recommends, for goodness sakes. If you kind of like that attorney, on USPTO.gov, you can actually search by attorney name. Search that attorney by his name. All the, all the um, patents that attorneys filed. And look down and see what he tends to do. If you're filing a game or a toy, you know, choose that. Choose a person that really does that type of work. If you're going to if you're going to patent a kind of engine, find an attorney that seems to do a lot of engines because he'll know what's been done, what the prior art is and that type of material. Um, if you've got a new type of clothesline holder or something, find an attorney that does housewares and that type of material. They're there, it's so easy to find them. Um, one of the problems I've encountered with uh, patent attorneys is if you go to a patent attorney with any product and say, do you think you could handle this great? Oh, I'm a patent attorney. I can do anything. You know, I can handle any product that you bring in here. Wrong. I have to tell you, you'll get a much better job, a much better reaction if you call people with patents, ask their personal recommendation. Did the attorney get back to you? I mean, if you called enough to message, did he call back? I mean, how much did he charge you? How much was it per hour? I mean, how much, how much did he charge you if he even talked to you on the phone? There are a lot of these patent attorneys that won't charge if you talk to them for 15 minutes on the phone. There are a lot of them that will charge you the same base rate. If it's $200 an hour or $300 an hour, you know, they'll charge you 250 bucks to talk to them for 15 minutes. There's a big variation here. And you can't go by price. Oh, my goodness, no. I know great patent attorneys that you know, charge $100 an hour. They're still out there. I know great ones that charge 200 I know great ones that charge $800 an hour. But is their services really any different or better than each other? You've got to get recommendations from people. It's quick, it's easy, and you'll network, especially if you're like in Madison, Wisconsin. You'll talk to these other inventors, and all of a sudden you'll have all these friends. Friends that know people in industry. Friends that have products that they've already invented and patented. Talk to them about what they're going through to sell their products. I mean, this is the ultimate way to network with these people. And it's all through USPTO.gov. How much easier could that be? But um, if you have any more questions about this or any questions, please email them to me. I'm Michael Mozart. I'm going to tell you all my secrets. I've been a toy and product designer for 25 years. If you like this information, please subscribe to the Toy Channel. You'll be glad you did. Push that little orange subscription button up there. Give me a couple stars down there. I'd really appreciate it. Five would be great, especially since I'm trying to really get this channel moving. But if you're a toy inventor, product designer, stay tuned. I'm giving you all my secrets. Thanks again.